gathered together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Brooke and Colton. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. The ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond, and as their dearest friends and family, it is our honor and privilege to stand and witness this event. Father, we are gathered here today to thank you for what you have done in the lives of Brooke and Colton. Thank you for bringing them together. We ask that you put your blessing on this union. May they keep you at the center of this marriage. And Father, we thank you for what you're going to do through them. In Genesis 2:18, the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. In Genesis 2, 22 through 24, Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now my bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she is taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother, and he's united to his wife, and they become one flesh. You're beautiful. <laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Much as bride and groom have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company of witnesses and thereto have given their pledge each to the other and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring by the power vested in me I pronounce you husband and wife you may kiss your bride Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Colton Henley. Thank you.